struggling waitress shows elderly customer kindness then she receives unexpected surprise Working as a server can be a thankless job you bring food and drinks to your customers hoping that they're going to be kind if a customer is unhappy about their food the server has to hear about it if the food didn't come out fast enough the server has to hear about it when the customer pays their bill the server hopes that they left a good tip because most of a server's income comes from their tips there are some days when being a server is no fun at all there are some servers who go above and beyond the call of duty even if a customer is rude and doing nothing but complaining these servers still bring their meals with a smile it takes a lot of patience and a little bit of kindness to be a great server Ebony Williams an 18 year old server from Texas is a great server Ebony works at a Texas Waffle House she'd been working at the restaurant for years and she was saving money to go to college she has plenty of dreams beyond being a server she just holds down this job to make the money that she needs for school she doesn't want to take out student loans and be in debt when she graduates she works several shifts a week hoping to save the money that she needs even though being a server isn't her passion she still works very hard at it she takes pride in her work and on one day in particular it really showed Ebony was working one day when an elderly man with an oxygen tank sat down at the counter after looking at the menu he ordered his breakfast a few minutes after he ordered Ebony brought him his food he picked up his fork and knife and Ebony saw a sad look come over his face his hands started to shake and he told Ebony that he recently had surgery he was still weak and was struggling to cut up his food without him asking and without hesitation Ebony took his plate and she cut up his ham for him she had customers waiting at other tables but she decided this man needed her help first little did she know that one of the customers was watching the whole thing and took photos the woman who watched Ebony and the man was Laura Wolf. She wasn't taking photos of Ebony because she was unhappy with the service. She was taking photos because she was impressed with the care the young woman was giving this man in need. When Laura got home, she posted the photo on Facebook. In the caption, she wrote, I don't know her name, but I heard this elderly gentleman tell her his hands don't work too well. He was struggling to breathe with his oxygen mask. Without hesitation, she took his plate and cut up his ham. This may seem small, but to him, I'm sure it was huge. I'm thankful to have seen this act of kindness and caring at the start of my day while everything in their world seems so negative. If we could all be like this waitress and take time to offer a helping hand. It didn't take long for Laura's Facebook post to go viral. Within a few days, the post was shared over 47,000 times and received over 99,000 likes. Fortunately, the post was seen by certain people who agreed what Ebony did was wonderful and that she deserved recognition. When Ebony was working one day, the mayor of Lamarck, Bobby Hawking, showed up to see her. He had a huge check in hand from Texas State University. The check was for $16,000, and it was a scholarship for Ebony to attend classes. She couldn't believe it. She says that she helped the man that day because it was the right thing to do. She never expected someone to photograph her and post it on Facebook. When the mayor gave her the check, Ebony broke down in tears. It was a huge gesture, and it was what she was working so hard for. Her manager at Waffle House was thrilled that one of his employees was getting recognition for being such a wonderful person. He says that it feels great knowing that he has such caring people on his staff. This story is proof that it doesn't take much to do a good deed for another person. Just one small thing can mean the world to another person. If we all were to do one good deed for one person each day, the world would be a better place.